Someone like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know that you'll see. Yo, what's up guys? Andy at Football Creator here. Um, I was just doing my Gareth Bale design uh, to post today or tomorrow, not sure which one yet. Um, and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial and give you guys two brushes, custom brushes that I've made that I'm going to use to make a flare effect and like a plasma kind of looking light around it and blend it into this image. Um, I'll leave a link to the brushes in the description below so you guys can download them and use them. Um, be great if on Instagram you other designers can tag me in them and let me see what you've used it with. Be pretty cool. Uh, don't forget to subscribe below as well and uh, let me know what tutorials or anything you want me to do and I'll crack on and do it. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Remember to turn the internet off first next time because I don't want any more of that. Right, here we go. So basically, we'll start off with, I'll create a new layer first. Stick on top of my Gareth Bale and then make sure I get them to selected. Go over to my brush tool and the first brush is this little bad boy. Um, basically, this size would do, I reckon. There we go. And we want to do just anywhere, basically, and grab the move tool. And you want to uh, make sure you put it in the center, or else it'll cut off some of the brush. Um, stick it where you want it. <laughs> We've all heard that before. Um, rotate it. And actually, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go here to start with. I'm going to do two or three on there, so you should be able to get the hang of it. So the idea is to make it so the light's bursting past him. There we go. And then we'll do create another layer on top of that one, so he is there. And on this layer, we're going to grab our brush tool again and grab our second brush. Uh, you'll have to turn the size down because it's quite a big brush to here. Um, I like to set it in roughly the colour that I want to use. So I've been using red the whole time, so I'm going to stick it on there. Um, press it in the middle of the screen. I really like this brush. <laughs> grab it, drag it over to here. And basically, it there and you want to flick through the blending modes to try and find what best suits your picture really but I tend to find that where is it I can't remember which one it was now overlay I tend to quite like on it because it gives a bit of the creeps around a bit and then I'll whack a mask on there grab your brush tool again this time go to a soft brush Turn your opacity down on it. Make sure you've got black selected because we're just going to hide and fade the ed edges of the image in. So it'll take the harshness off. So it doesn't look like it's just stuck on there. So it gives that wispy light effect around it. And then if you go back to your first, the flare and whack a hue and saturation layer on top of it. Make sure it's clipped to it so we don't affect the rest of the image. Hit colorize and we'll just try and make him a bit brighter. Just You don't notice it much but just bring a little bit of red into it and merge that down onto it. And then if we come up here and go image adjustments and then you want to hit the curves, change to the red. And we're just trying to bring up as much red in it as we can. Actually, we'll make the whole thing a bit brighter. There we go, you don't notice it much. And another little trick you can use. 
This is a little tip I found out ages ago, which really helps me. If you change it, the blender mode to linear dodge add, double click on it on your layer to bring up your blending options and turn off these two. There we go. Makes it slightly brighter. I actually quite like doing that anyway, so <laughs> a little tip for you guys. Um, put another mask on it and then we're just going to fade the light source away. And merge those together. Bye. No, we don't want to do that. Let's step back. We'll just group them actually. And stick them both in that group together. There we go. So now we can, if you want to, you don't have to, you can move them to wherever you want. But I just find once I've made it, I can just duplicate the group, grab the move tool, and I've got it all ready again. So I don't have to go through that process. Um, and you can also just use it all in one like that. Um, now what we're going to do, make sure you've got the transform tool selected. Right click and click. Distort. Nope, not distort. Wrong one. Nope, you can't warp that. Don't worry, that's not what I did. <laughs> thought you could do it like that, but you can't. There we go. Make sure you transform. There we go, warp. And now what you want to do, if you want to bend this, and get a nice... There we go. I quite like that. And just put it to the edge of him there. And then... Go back to your mask, grab a soft brush, make it a bit bigger so the edge moves in. Also opacity is down at 25% so you're doing it all lightly to blend it all in. And just get rid of that, that line on the side. And hey presto, there you have that. Um, in this one I'm actually going to stick a new layer on top and turn it into a clipping mask. And I'm just going to put a little bit of red over the top and not do that. Nope. There we go, just give a bit of the, bring a bit of the red out. And then over the top of these again, it's just all about layer after layer with this. Overlay, turn that up. And you can also brighten them up like that. And grab your eraser, make it a bit larger. Also down at 51%, so we're not doing anything too drastic every time. And just take take it off. So it's just a very subtle glow on them. And the more you actually flick it on and off, you can see the areas where you've got too much and it doesn't fit in. Let that down. And it just brings everything together. And that's what I like to do with my flares and plasma. A little bit of light. You can use them for anything really. Um, oh, actually, one more thing. With his eyes up here, I like to use that flare tool. The brush. Let's get the flare one back out. There we go. Um, I'm going to use red anyway because I've changed his eyes to red. Just click there. And then change the... Uh, to linear dodge add double click on it again turn off these two and it's made it just a bit brighter I want to get that centre bit right in his eye like that 
and then just turn the opacity down and it just makes his eye look like he's got a bit of a laser in it and there's light coming out um, don't forget to like this video if it helped you out and if you used the brushes um, follow me on Instagram Twitter would be good I don't have many Twitter followers <laughs> um, yeah for the next video Cheers guys. Someone Bye. like you, someone like you. I want you to know me, cause I know then you'll see we could be true.